What's going on there, folks? Good uh, early Saturday morning. I know it's about 3 o'clock a.m. West Coast time here. Just doing a quick update video about some earthquake activity taking place here in Nevada. Pretty good size earthquake uptick uh, taking place out there around mine in Nevada. Of course, here on the globe, 4.5 down here uh, in this region of the world. But I want to talk a little bit about what's going on out there in Nevada uh, briefly as we switch over here to the map real quick uh, you can see the nevada area this area has been swarming no doubt or aftershocks i should say since the six pointer back in may of this year i believe it was in may um this is the area where i went out there and kind of checked out the uh oh the earthquake activity and whatnot uh thanks to uh viewers supporting the uh the trip out there covering the cost of the trip didn't see a whole lot of activity out there i think i felt one small earthquake uh, no surface ruptures that i seen i do want to go back here real quick and show you guys that specific earthquake here i keep talking about it but uh, we'll go ahead and check it out and show you guys uh let's go here I'll make this 2019 and just do it quick like that. I want to get rid of these uh, two pointers. Let's go uh, 4.5 custom. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm seeing here on this end because it's kind of opening. Yes, you can. Okay. Kind of opening up a new window. Uh, we'll click this over here around the mine in Nevada area. That may not be right. Let's go over here a little bit all right so this should cover it real quick because i kind of want to show you guys exactly where that large one took place uh let's zoom in here real quick there's been quite a few these are what i have this at four point uh four point five and above since the uh well, since last year, there's that 6.5 that struck. Yeah, I was correct. Back in May, May 15th is the date to be exact right there. That's where that 6.5 struck out there. Pretty good sized quake earlier this year in Nevada. <clears throat> since then, we've seen nothing but aftershock activity um, every single day. There hasn't been a day since then that we haven't seen earthquake activity. Uh, roughly, probably, oh, I'd say 15 earthquakes a day at least, minimum. Um, and these are not large earthquakes that took place on any given day, just pretty much along the lines of microquakes or 2.5, roughly around there. But uh, nonetheless, definitely earthquake activity um, pretty much every single day since May. You can see the list over here. Kind of showing you about 4.5 and above. There's been way more earthquakes than that. I'll tell you what, quite a bit. Um, and the one of the larger aftershocks there struck I think it was actually the largest aftershock that 5.3 that struck there back in November 13th of this year so just last month and then on the first we seen or the first of December we seen another 5 pointer 5.1 I was actually just uh, what just a couple weeks ago less than a couple weeks ago and then uh, following that day, or a couple days later, we've seen a 4.9. And then last night, early this morning, I should say, we've seen another uh, 4.9. I believe originally a 5-pointer or 5.1 that struck there. So activity seems to be on the ramp up at the moment here. And it's taken its course a little bit further to the west than what we've been seeing. Let's go back here real quick. You can kind of see this linear area of movement there along the fault fracture out there in the desert um, of course not visible at the surface that i could tell so this activity um, underground or just below the surface i should say i don't want to say underground because it sounds like they're digging tunnels down there you know who knows maybe tunnels down there a lot of old mine shafts and whatnot but uh, anyway this general location right here <clears throat> is kind of where this newer larger earthquake activity has taken place including last or this morning's 4.9 and the fire uh, the prior 4.9 as well took place around 
<clears throat> this area. Hopefully I'm not going to lose my voice. It's pretty early in the morning. Let me grab some soda real quick. Yeah, so 4.9 striking out here. I believe, Like I said, I believe it was originally a 5-pointer or 5.1. There's a 4.9 in an area. I kind of went back here off the road a few miles to check out a couple ghost towns. This is out here in the uh, Candelaria Hills, exactly where I was at, uh, checking out those little ghost towns uh, and live streaming it uh, while I was out there. Not a whole lot out there, folks. Um, I did see some old mine shafts and whatnot, but I don't believe... Um, I'm sure some of these may be associated with mine shaft collapses. Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot out there, but I don't believe there's this many. And if you take a look at the depth of these earthquakes here, they're very variable. And uh, ranging from uh, almost surface uh, down to about 11 kilometers or so. That 4.9 striking at 6.4 kilometers. So uh, varying depths right here in the desert out here. And the, pro pro the uh, movement over here, progression of quakes out here to the west, um, is, is kind of... Uh, it's hard to say exactly what's going on out there, folks. I mean, it's... You know, this area, I think I read an article out here when I was doing an update video on it, on that larger quake that struck a few months ago, how eventually a million years down the road, or maybe two million, I don't know exactly when, who knows if humans will be alive, but with the plate tectonics and whatnot, the stresses and the movement of the plates, we're talking about this area right here, could be the new coastline here of the uh, North American plate. I'm not for sure what's going to happen in California. It may fall off. Who knows? Or may get subducted. But uh, not, it's not going to fall off. There's no way California can fall off. That was just me being a, uh, trying to tell an early morning joke. But it could get uh, it could get subducted, ripped off. Uh, who knows? Plate tectonics does some pretty awesome stuff. I sure as heck wouldn't want to be here when that happens. And it's going to happen over time, of course, not instantly. But this area out here, um, some scientists and whatnot were kind of suggesting that this could be the new, well, the new, you know, I better take that back. Not the coastline out here, but this is kind of like the new San Andreas Fault plate boundary area. That's what it was. So basically how we have the releases of stress out here along the North American plate and the Pacific plate over here to the west. This would this here down the road could be the new uh, stress release area. Now I'm not for sure exactly what would happen to the San Andreas Fault if that would become, um, who knows, fused. It could be uh, uh, many things could happen, but they did mention about this area could be uh, the new stress relief. So that's potentially what we could be seeing out there um, early, and then of course over time down the road this could be. Uh, a major plate boundary right here we'll just have to see right here in a million a couple million years i'll see if i can find that article uh, about it kind of interesting there but uh anyway this activity folks and along with the activity down here in the south uh, ridgecrest seeing some more activity kind of on the ramp up as well no swarming to report down here in the south part of the state but uh still we've been seeing this area Actually, the entire western part of the North American plate here seems like under the gun when it comes to earthquake activity up through Idaho and, and uh, right outside of Salt Lake City as well. A lot of movement taking place out here, so um, it's it's, um, it's kind of a prime spot for potentially a larger quake out here. We did see that larger quake in that quiet zone that we were looking at uh, prior to that weak CME impact a couple nights ago. We had a 6.2 out there in Taiwan. Since then though, at least a 24 hour period here looks pretty quiet. Small or moderate sized quake out there in Japan. Hawaii, we're gonna cover that a little bit later, uh, later on today in an update video, but I did wanna get word out, uh, you know, some major movement going on out there in Nevada. Not for sure if any folks reported filling it or not. Uh, we'll take a look at that here in a second. But these red earthquakes here indicating the activity within the last hour. As far as the key goes, you can see the last hour of activity. 
and over the last 24 hours the orange quake circle right there let's zoom in to that uh, 4.9 see if anybody reported filling it you know part sparsely populated out there it's kind of nice I love the desert out there but uh, it makes for some awesome star nighttime star shot opportunities out there for sure uh, let's see if anybody reported filling it here it looks like if there was a few folks uh, yeah from various areas out there as well Round Mountain, uh, Yosemite National Park there in California reported filling up. 4.9 would definitely be felt um, at a distance. Not strong, obviously, but, uh, you know, some light shaking reported being, uh, feeling being reported there. That 5 point, or that 4.9 showed up here on the Yellowstone graphs as well. Uh, this here almost looks like, let's see, what's the UTC time on that quake here? UTC time 0750. So if we take a look over here at the map here, the UTC time over here kind of matches that signature that we see right there. 0750 would be right about here. So that 4.9 showing up there on Yellowstone National Park seismograph stations there on uh, quite a few stations out there. And this one here, this other quake that's shown up, looks a lot more localized. I believe that's the activity up there in Idaho that took place quite a few hours ago it looks like not for sure which one it was um, could potentially be that 3.6 right there considering uh, Yellowstone is just a hop skip and a jump away here so moral of the story today folks just you know continued build up out here we could see potentially a larger quake in Nevada you know it's a of course, they, uh, a lot of the geologists say as time goes by, you know, the chances of a larger quake or aftershock subsequent quake diminishes, but not all the time. You got to look at the uh, dynamics of the land, the dynamics of the fault structure, uh, the pressure that's being applied out there. And uh, there's always that chance for potentially a larger quake in and around the vicinity. We have seen some earthquake activity up here stretching to the north. Uh, just outside of Reno and into parts of Northern California, so um, it's it's potential for uh, some larger movement, obviously within this area. We definitely don't want to see a big one out there in Reno. That that would not be fun. Hold on one second here. Okay. Um, so yeah, we'll cover a little bit more in detail, folks, tonight, later tonight, in the update video. This one kind of. Give the heads up out there to the folks in Nevada and uh, <clears throat> the viewers out there to uh, be on guard. I mean, this is kind of ramping up, ramping up and looking uh, pretty crazy out there. A little quake there on the Garlock Fault structure here, the shear zone, <clears throat> kind of opposite of what we normally see in California. California has normally got this north, <clears throat> northwest to southeast fault structure along the plate boundary here yeah but this one here is kind of the shear zone this one's capable of producing some large quakes out there and it butts up right against the San Andreas fault there the, the locked section there anyway I gotta jump off here folks um, have a good day if anything does pop up we will provide an update and uh, in the meantime stay safe out there I gotta get some medicine uh, coming down with something again. Not for sure what's floating around out there. Anyway, we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe.